Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise God. Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The title of this prophetic word says, God told me to warn you against or about your intuition. This is the last time. I say it again. The title of this prophetic word says, God told me to warn you about your intuition. This is the last time. You shouldn't be afraid. You shouldn't be tense. You shouldn't be somehow. The word of God comes to bring you out of darkness Every prophetic word comes to bring you into light. The Bible says that word is a lamb unto my feet and a light unto my path. And that is why this word is coming to you today. Please, if you're seeing me for your very first time, my name is Ethel Betangba. And this is prayer and the prophetic with Pastor Ethel. You are very much welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You've been family of course. You know that I love you so much. And my prayer for you is that the good Lord rewards your consistency. He blesses you as never before. Let the Lord begin to uplift you, transform your life, change your story. Do something great and something amazing in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. There are so many people who God has spoken to a couple of times. There are so many people who God has tried protecting them. But disobedience has landed them in so many troubles. There are people who are very ignorant. You know, but I have a problem with ignorance. Because ignorance is not an excuse. That's the problem I have with ignorance. Ignorance is not an excuse before the law. And I've been asking myself several questions. Yeah. You know, sometimes I ask and I'm like, what happens to some of these people who did not know God? What happens to some of these people who had never known God all their lives? What happened to some of these people who have never heard the gospel? What happens to them? And to date, I really don't know that story. I don't know the answer to that particular question. But you know what I'm conscious about? I'm conscious about the fact that ignorance is not an excuse when it comes to the law. I know we don't live in the era of the law. I know we live in the era of grace. But what happens to somebody who acted ignorantly? So whenever you don't have questions to what you're looking for, the answer is act right. I say it again, whenever you don't have questions, answers to the questions you're asking, or answers you're looking for. The best solution is what? Act right. What does it mean by you acting right? It means doing what God would have done in your position. Doing what is correct, even if nobody saw you. Just do it. Somebody right now, God has been spoke, speaking to you. God has spoken to you quite a number of times. He has told you about this person, it happened. He told you about this thing, it happened. 
And sometimes to you, it's like deja vu. Oh, I've seen this before. Oh, I heard this before. So you've been seeing a lot of things and you've watched them come to pass. You've heard a lot of things and you've got hard to ignore. And you've had a lot of these things come to pass. And I understand you because sometimes we are not so, um, we are not so, uh, what's this word? Confident. But one time, two times, three times, you should get to that stage where you should understand that God wants to say something. There is somebody right now, you're watching me. God wants you about somebody. Your intuitions kept telling you things again against this particular person. You did not listen. But you know that this has not happened once. This has happened more than two times. You did not listen. And right now, you're going through a lot and you're battling with a lot because of this. This particular person is coming to you again. They will come to pretend again because they have what they want to get from you. So they are going to come to pretend directly or indirectly. And God says, this is the last time. By the time you let them gain access into you, this time around, they will just want to take you out. They will just want to just kill you, just put you down in every way that they can. When somebody steals from you once, twice, but when you keep letting them steal in from you, they will get to a stage where they will just want to make you bankrupt, put you in bankruptcy. That's what I'm talking about. So you must be very careful about your intuitions. You will see them come to you directly or indirectly. And that will be the last time and the last warning. You're blessed that these warnings and these words always come to you. Let the Lord give you wisdom in Jesus' name. Amen. Please put your hand on your head and say, Lord, please grant me wisdom. In Jesus' name, amen. It's wisdom. Don't let your emotions take a hold of you, okay? Please. Please do not forget to pray for me. Also, do not forget to subscribe, like, and share. Welcome to the family if you're just subscribing. Please, I beg you in the name of the Lord, you must be very careful. Never let your emotions go ahead of your brain. Now, May the Lord bless you, keep you, cast his face to shine in you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken in the name of Jesus. I love you, I do. I love you so much. God bless you amazingly and God bless you abundantly. Shalom.